Track storms to alert you first. This is KIMT Storm Team 3. Weather coverage you can count on. Welcome back. Happy TGIF. It is Friday. It is feeling pretty good out there. We got some sunshine. Yes, plenty of it in Rochester. But it's Mason City I'm talking about not too long ago. And you can still see evidence of it. Plenty of fog. The clouds have lifted. The sun is coming through. But it's still very easy to see that there is a layer there. Some filtered sunshine. But sun nonetheless. And that has helped Mason City warm up to 50 degrees. I'm showing this one again because I wanted to point out Algona. When we started the newscast was at 39 degrees has warmed up to 41 45 now in Forest City Rochester almost at that 50 degree mark that would be alongside Mason City and New Hampton also 50 it's 52 in Winona La Crosse these temperatures already well above normal but we expected that right that's what we have had in the forecast for a while and as we continue to watch that's left over of the lower hanging clouds here this was once the fog now lifting up satellite is still picking up on it we can all plan on much more sunshine here as we get later into the afternoon. That's all thanks to this right here. High pressure. You remember yesterday it was further to the south. It has now moved further north and will continue to do just that. That will influence us here as we go through the weekend and of course through the rest of today. So going for a walk, I think it is a perfect day to do so. The winds are light. The sun is shining. The temperatures very, very comfortable for mid-November. All right, moving over to Sky Tracker 3 here. I'm going to show that we do get plenty more of the sunshine all the way until that sun sets. Maybe a few thin clouds joining. Again, that's pretty typical. And as we head into the evening, it's still going to be quite easy going. Not a bad Friday night. Let's head into our Saturday now. I know I fast forwarded all the way through our Saturday morning. You probably noticed clouds building back in. It's going to be more of a cloudy start for our Saturday morning. But as we go through the rest of the day, a little more sunshine. And yes, even a small chance that we could see a little shower or two peak up. It's a small chance, but it's there. Regardless, we're going to be soaking up the sunshine here for Friday for a good portion of Saturday and definitely on Sunday. Again, temperatures will be dropping though. It's all the very beginnings of what's coming our way. So let's explain that. I zoomed things out and a little further off to the west as you can see here in the nation because I am keeping an eye on a pattern shift. A parade of low pressure systems coming our way and they're going to impact us here as we come into the next work week bringing rain chances even a mixed precipitation chance which means the possibility for some snowfall so i'm going to walk us through it here this is the weekend under the influence of the high pressure I'm pushing time forward and we start to see that major pattern shift as a couple low pressure systems just scoop by us. This one coming a little lower and then another one decides to swing in, join it. And that's where we'll be watching for that change, that wintry mixture possible as we head into our Wednesday night and Thursday. So there it is on the seven day forecast for the weekend is always in view. So enjoy this beautiful weekend while we do have it. Gets much rainier by Monday, Tuesday, and then temperatures plummet as we head into Wednesday, Thursday. And that's where we're going to be watching for the potential for some snow. I'm just glad that, you know, we're having this nice weekend before all this other stuff happens. <laughs> yeah, it's a good time to get ready for Thanksgiving. You know, that's coming up pretty soon too. So get out there and shop quickly and uh, this is great weather for it. Pumpkin pie mix. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. <laughs>